Hi there, guys. Um, this video, this next video is uh, crazy. Um, it's kind of hot off the presses. It is a three to four day old story out of Boston, uh, Massachusetts. Um, I want to read it. You know, uh, I want to read it to you guys. Then I will give uh, my commentary. Um, so it says, this is from Boston 10 News. Uh, looks like it's an NBC station. Um, it says, uh, man breaks the nose of, man breaks woman's nose after she doesn't say good morning, DA says. Um, I'm going to go ahead to the story. This story uh, was published July 24th of uh, this year, uh, 2023. Um, says that a man repeatedly punched a woman in the head, breaking her nose in an attack in Boston this month that began when he confronted the stranger for not saying good morning, prosecutors said Monday. Ian Atkinson, 33, has been held without bail in the allegedly unprovoked attack on the morning of July 13, and is due back in court Tuesday. The woman was punched in the head at least seven times in the incident, the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office said. It's difficult to comprehend the viciousness and randomness of such an attack, in this case on a stranger doing nothing more than watering her lawn. All over a perceived and, persi and perhaps non-existent slight. District Attorney Kevin Hayden said in a statement as his office revealed details on the incident Monday. The woman who was injured told police that she was attacked by the man who cursed her out while she was watering her lawn in Dor 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 Dorchester for not saying good morning when he when he walked by. Prosecutors said, taken aback by his aggressive demeanor, the woman started taping the interaction on her phone. Atkinson got out of a black Mercedes that was parked nearby and started to hit her. Then got back into the vehicle and swerved towards her before driving off. Prosecutors said, the bloodied woman caught his license plate on camera and told officers who showed up at the scene that she thought the man was wearing a GPS tracking device. Investigators tracked the Mercedes to Atkinson and found he looked like the woman's attacker, according to prosecutors. He was out on bail in, a, in an assault and gun possession case. They said, and his GPS tracker indicated he was at the scene of the attack when it happened. Atkinson was arrested days later and appeared in court Tuesday on charges of assault and battery, causing serious bodily injuries and assault and battery with a car. It wasn't immediately clear if he had had any attorney who would speak to the charges. Prosecutors noted the woman said she bit her attacker in the shoulder during the assault. Hayden credited the woman's bravery and pres uh, presence of mind not only to get crucial video of her attacker, but also to notice that he was strapped with a GPS device. That is the end of that story, uh, of that article. Um, You know, you can't ignore them. You can't say anything to them because you will still get attacked, just like Carlisha Hood. All of the people that are saying, oh, well, and, and this is a sidebar. All of the people that are saying, oh, well, you know, Carlisha should have just not said anything and should have just went ahead and just uh, got her food, which her food wasn't even ready, but she should have just left. She should have uh, avoided the trouble of the situation. Well, in two cases, you have a man 
a very irate black man with already a criminal past in both cases. And one instance, and we know there's so many other instances where black women will say something to the guy. Like, you know, they'll they'll be nice, they'll be kind, they'll whatever, they'll still get attacked. If you don't say nothing, if you walk off, if you keep your mouth shut, you still get attacked. And what really gets me is being on social media. I was on Instagram and I'm I'm just seeing and, and what what really gets me is the number of black women, black women. Oh, oh, oh this story just don't sound right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody ain't saying about the whole the full thing. Oh, no, that just don't make no sense that he would do anything like that. And somebody made created a whole scenario. Let me calm down. Somebody made a whole scenario about him saying good morning. Um, she said something slick to him. He got out of the car and she sprayed him with water. And that's why he attacked her. I mean, the court, the attorney said there was no water on the ground. There is no water on him. Um, no evidence showed that this woman did or said anything to this man. As a matter of fact, he mad because she didn't say good morning. So, I mean, it, it just goes to show more and more evidence of how black women are, first of all, not protected. First, we're not even believed. I mean... How are black women going to start getting protection when they are first off not even believed? Like, they've made up whole scenarios all over Instagram about what possibly happened. Oh, she had to do something. She, she sprayed him with that water and he got out and he whooped her head. And I'm just like, it's sad that it was an unprovoked attack. This dude is already on charges for attacking people and they called him violent dude wearing a gps like wh why why do any of that you know what i'm saying why do any of that you obviously don't care about the criminal the criminal justice system you obviously don't care about going back to jail maybe that's what he wanted i did see some of that on there too they were saying, you know, that he, he was ready to go back to jail or whatever. But, I mean, why attack a black woman? You know what I'm saying? Why attack anybody? Go steal something from a store. You know what I'm saying? Something safe. If you're trying to go back to jail or something like that. You know, go to the police department and cuss all of them out or something. I mean, I don't know. But why attack? Uh, 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 and that's, that's an elder. A 59-year-old woman is an elder. Why? Because you mad, you already upset about God knows what. You have pre-planned in your mind and in your head to go and do this. And you know how unsafe it is for women to be speaking and smiling to, at men? Do you, I mean, just in general, just just on a general surface. And I'm telling you, black men have that entitlement. They have had it since I was a little girl. Here I am, a little girl, going to the store to get me some Doritos and a pickle, which was my favorite, Doritos and a, and a, and a dill pickle. And all these dudes standing up on the side of, of the store, I'm a little girl, and... Hey, babe, what's up? And, uh, oh, good morning. Hello. How you doing? I don't say anything. I'm scared. You know, I mean, I don't want to talk to them. I and what's more, don't we teach our children not to talk to strangers? What would I look? Hey, how y'all doing? What, what's up? I'm, a, I'm asking to get attacked. I'm asking. Because first of all, why are you sitting on the side of a, of a grocery store when you should be at work anyway, 
talking to little girls and, and they knew I was a little girl. I looked like a little girl. Come on. But I'm supposed to smile and say something and be friendly. No, I would rather not say nothing and go ahead and get called the hoes and bitches I was called by full grown men. I, I would I would have rather have done that. And I still wasn't safe. I still wasn't safe. You know, I didn't tell y'all about the time I got followed. You know, it, it, it was it was a little trail going past my grandma's, uh, the back of my grandma's house. And it was just like a little cut through that you can get there uh, to the next street and over to the store in a quicker way. Never told y'all that I got followed by, this was not a grown man though. This was a, a teenage boy. I don't know, he's about 16, 17 years old. And it was really nothing to stop him from attacking me uh, in, in those woods. It, it really wasn't. Um, it wasn't a big, large area, so it's not like I would not have been heard if I had yelled or screamed, if I had been able to or whatever. But, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that it didn't happen because it very well could have. And that ain't to say that I have not been attacked in my life uh, by full grown men. But this is not that story. This story is about an unprovoked attack on an elder lady who, I don't know, chose not to say anything. I mean, I, I, I don't, I mean, there's, men don't speak. I've sp uh, spoken to men who don't say nothing, especially up here in, in, where I am. I almost gave a state away. Almost, uh, especially where I am. I tell y'all all the time, they are very funny up here. And most of them don't speak, you know? But at the end of the day, um, what I wanted to come and do, I wanted to come and bring this story. Um, I also wanted to come and just show how black women, once again, are continually not believed and not protected by the black community. I mean, they're not even giving this woman the benefit of the doubt. They're not even giving her the benefit of the doubt. That it clearly was unprovoked by a man who they're already saying has attacked other people, has uh, is violent, and has a criminal past. With a GPS on, like what more do you need? And they are literally on social media making up whole scenarios as to what she did wrong and why she got attacked and why ultimately it's her fault. And I'm so sick of it. I am so sick of it. I am so sick of of the black community. Like I, I'm 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 sick of it. Like what? I don't understand. They're blaming Car Car Carly uh, Russell for, you know, a lie. At the end of the day, it was a lie. It was a dumb, stupid lie, but it was a lie. And they're talking about this woman in prison time. I mean, y'all, come on. Now, no one yet, I haven't seen anyone yet saying anything about this man so far. I ain't read all the comments, but I haven't seen anything about this man being some type of criminal who, who needs to go back to jail for doing this. It was completely uncalled for. Now, I will say, I did see one black man who said something about these dudes out here being soft and something about um, if a woman don't want to speak to you, she don't have to, like WTF. You know what I'm saying? And I salute that brother because it's rare. It's very rare. That's why I pointed out his comment because it's rare. So, um, you know, another thing that I, this video is not about that. I just want to throw this in real quick, but, you know, talking about, you know, defending black women, I haven't seen nobody yet saying anything about Carly Russell's boyfriend who was cheating on her. They're, they're blaming her and whatever, you know, we know that that was the scenario and that's what happened. But 
where are all these stand up black men who would tell that young girl, like, why are you cheating on your girlfriend? Like, you know, what happened? Like, you know, maybe your actions drove her to this or, you know, maybe she was just so upset, so distraught, so whatever that it drove her to do something like this. Like, I mean, no benefit of the doubt, no type of anything for her. They saying she need to go to prison. And I ain't seen nobody yet check her boyfriend for cheating. And I know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, I, he got it right. Like, they not married. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I that's I get it. That's not his wife. That We don't know the situation of why they broke up, why he was cheating, or why he was seeing somebody else. I, I don't know. I, I could sit up here and speculate. But at the end of the day... I don't see nobody checking him. So you guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit all notifications so that you know when I upload new videos. And you guys, uh, until the next video, see you next time.